I felt really generous today so I decided to do something really crazy and recorded a vanilla toot in which I'm going to show you how to design a very simple model. It's going to be a sci-fi grenade. Mea culpa. Let's go. Alright, so let's start with adding cylinder. So shift A and add a cylinder. Now before we do anything, before we move it, scale it, I want to adjust the amount of segments to make the geometry more dense so we can prepare this for booleans. It's going to be easier to control shading when the geometry is much more dense. So go here to this menu and increase the amount of vertices to 60. And then we're going to scale it on Z axis. So as Z. Now, if you're completely new to Blender, you don't even know how to adjust the view or use your UI or anything like that, go ahead and grab our free course, which is called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It will teach you everything you need to know to start with Blender, all the foundations, the UI, you know, the hard surface modeling, everything is there. And it's like I said, it's free and the link is in the video description. So uh, go ahead and grab it. You will learn a lot. Now going back here, we're going to uh, shade it smooth. So right click and shade smooth. And also we're going to add the auto smooth. So in Blender 4.1 Alpha, in Alpha, you click on this option here and, you know, you're good to go. However, when you go to edit mode in current state, it's going to be a bit problematic. We need to remove these hard edges. We don't need them. So select everything uh, go to uh, edge mode. By the way, I'm using machine tools add on for this. It's a free add on. And if you don't know how to use it again, either go ahead and get the jumpstart course because I'm explaining it over there or watch my videos on machine tools all right so go here and um, let's just clear sharps and then you will see that in edit mode we still have shading problems so we're gonna have to add some bevel and weighted normal so let's go here to modifiers go to generate bevel let's add three segments and change the um, miter here to arc um, it's gonna be a little bit better also we need to adjust the scale because you can see that the bevel is distorted so let's control A and apply scale, that's better. And also uh, we're gonna change the size of it because it's crazy, right? Make it a bit smaller, you can hold shift and change the size, right? And then on top of this, we need weighted normals. It's a little bit still uh, wonky here. So weighted normal is gonna fix it. So go here, edit and weighted normal. And now we have really good shading on this mesh. Perfect. Now it's a good time to save it. So let's go to uh, save. I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to also run power save. If you don't know how to use power save, then again, go ahead and grab our jumpstart code because I explained it over there. I also have some videos on this on my channel. So go ahead and, uh, you know, and watch it. Uh, but this is a fantastic add on. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, let me just scale it maybe a little bit more and apply scale. Now we're going to, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a shape here. So go to edit mode uh, to edge mode. Control R here, and then we're going to scale this um, a little bit. So Control B and GZ and move it down here. Then we're going to go here to select, go to loops and boundary loops, which will select these two loops here. And we're going to Control B them and split them a little bit, right? And we're going to go to face mode, okay, with machine tools. Alt click on this one and Alt S, which will basically scale it on the normals. That is really nice. Then here on the top, we're gonna to create one more edge, right? And we're going to go to face mode and select this one and this one. And we're gonna press Shift D to duplicate it. Right click to cancel and then press P and click on selection. This will separate this to its own object. And we're going to solidify this, okay? So let's go here to modifiers and we're gonna to go to, I think it's on the generate. I hate this new menu. Solidify, there we go. And let's just hold shift and add some thickness to the outside and move this above weighted normals, okay? So maybe a little bit more. There we go, that will do. And that's fine. And then on the bottom here, let's just grab this face, GZ, move it a bit lower. And we're gonna grab this one here with Alt, click here, Shift D, right click, P, selection same thing right and now we can do we can actually copy modifiers okay so we're gonna select this one and shift select this one control c and copy modifiers all right 
so this will ensure that we're gonna have the same amount of certification now if this doesn't work for you go here to preferences and enable add-on called copy attributes menu okay um, so all right so here we're going to go to vertex mode select these and gz and drop them down a bit like that we're gonna go here to occlude with machine tools press b select these all right and we're going to drop them down so gz and drop them down a bit okay and that should be peachy we're gonna have some shading problems here so what we can do is we can actually add the loop here gg and scale it up a bit we get some really weird shading here going on hang on let me see that we put solidify before bevel there we go same here solidify then bevel should be better all right so this fixed the problem more or less and we're good to go awesome so now here on the top we could actually create a similar effect uh, so go to vertex and go to occlude right the pass through and go to vertex mode and b and let's just select maybe these and move them up a little bit and then Control r drop a loop here and we're good to go okay awesome now you can see that um, this solidification here isn't even, it's kind of tapering to uh, towards the top. So what you could do is click on even thickness, it's gonna fix it, all right? See that? It fixes this tapering effect. So now it's gonna be um, evenly thick uh, across this whole shape. Cool, so that works. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the, um, the top of a grenade, right? So let's grab a cube, so shift and grab a cube. GZ, move it in here, SX and scale it. And we're going to uh, move it somewhere here and scale it on Z a little bit and G and move it somewhere, you know, somewhere here. And Control A, okay, and apply scale. And we're gonna grab this edge here and Control B that. So it's kind of beveled, right? And we're gonna bevel these edges a little bit. So Control B and scroll your mouse. And then we have to mirror this to the other side, okay? So we're gonna add a mirror modifier. So let's go here to generate, and we're gonna go to mirror, and we need to flip it to the other side. So let's just mirror this uh, with bisecting, and it should be fine. We need to, of course, shade it smooth by angle, which is, again, gonna fuck up everything in edit mode. So let's select all these edges here and clear sharps. Uh, so go to right click and clear sharps. And then we're gonna have to add bevel, right? So let's shift click this object here and control C and we're gonna copy modifiers, right? Like this. And then we're gonna have to re-add the mirror because unfortunately it will actually re uh, remove the mirror modifier. So let's go here to generate mirror by say, and you're gonna move it above weighted normals. Weighted normals should be always on the bottom. It's really important to kind of stick to the uh, understand it's really important to understand the modifier order in blender because it depends it really depends on how your modifiers are positioned right it could affect shading and other things so that's really essential this bevel here is a bit big so we're gonna make it smaller so the uh, objects look a bit more um, metallic like machined the top here we're gonna cut, so what you wanna do is you wanna enable another add-on called bull tool. This one, just check it in safe breaths, right? Shift A and let's add the cube and you know move it in here. I'm gonna make it bigger and kinda slice this, yeah. So shift here uh, shift click on this one and control forward slash on your uh, numpad. Grab this cutter and we can now adjust how high you want this. Here is fine. You want to create a new collection, so with this cutter selected, press M, new collection, and you can call it cutters, and press OK. And I can turn it off with Shift 2, OK, so you don't have cutters in your collection. Cool, now this boolean has to go above uh, here, so you boolean, then you bevel, then you uh, mirror, then you add weighted normals, OK? That's the order of operation. And now let's press Shift 2 and Shift D this cutter and S X to scale it. Move it a little bit higher here and move it forward. And we're going to cut this one. So Control minus. And we're going to actually go to edit mode and uh, we're going to actually before we do that, 
let's apply scale to a cutter so the bevels when we're gonna be adding them they're gonna be actually properly scaled you see this one is actually a bit weird so you need to apply scale in order to fix that problem there we go that's better add some bevel here and we're gonna press shift 2 awesome so now we got two cuts here and again this boolean needs to be moved here above a bevel for this to work right so we get boolean boolean bevel and then mirror and then wait and almost like a cool peachy so that's cool and now we're going to build on this on top of this one okay so let's go to face mode and in fact let's just apply this uh, boolean here so we're gonna play both booleans all right so let's apply this one and you just click this and apply this one as well so we have this element here we're gonna move this origin point up to the this piece because you can see that the origin point is shared with this element here since we slash this off of it right so shift s with machine tools and move origin point to geometry which will actually mess up with our mirror uh, so in fact what we might want to do is hang on a second let's actually no this should work move it to geometry and we're gonna mirror across this object and it's gonna be fine all right so click this um, pipette here and mirror across this one you're gonna be good to go Let's go to face mode, grab this one, and let's just extrude it here a little bit. And then we're going to Control R, add a loop, go to pay, uh, face mode, select this one, and extrude it downwards. Let me somewhere here. And this one is a little bit too thick, so we're going to turn off this path through for a second. And we're going to um, and create a shape in here. So let's grab this face and, and just press G, Y like this okay all right this is a little bit too far i think so maybe let's select everything here okay and this one maybe as well and let's move it a little bit closer so somewhere here right now what we can do we can align these two points with this one so select these with shift and this one an alt a and align to the left with machine tools again if you don't have um, this menu activated just go to preferences and do it and if you don't know how to do it watch my video on that um, because you know i'm going to be explaining the same thing in every single video um let's grab these here and we can remove them okay so x and dissolve edges we don't need them grab these edges right and we're gonna control b that and scroll down to create a chamfer right and then we can grab these two okay and move them down so gz and move them down like this okay cool then we're gonna grab these edges okay here and we're going to control b them to create a little bit more of a you know, more supple transition same here select these two and control b perfect and also we're gonna cut this okay so let's go here and grab another cube and move it in here and we're going to SZ to scale it and put it somewhere here. Okay. And simply shift click that and control minus and move this one to cutters, right? So M and move to cutters and we're good to go. And uh, let's uh, apply this. So let's grab this bull tool and move it up. And we're going to apply it. Okay. And we're going to grab this. Uh, and this edge i'm gonna ask z to scale them towards one another and i'm gonna select these and i'm going to bevel them okay cool now we're gonna select this edge here click alt click to select this whole loop i didn't work well so let's just do it manually with control here and all the way here and we're going to uh, chamfer this like this this is gonna look really cool awesome cool i like that okay this one here could be a little bit more interesting so let's just grab a loop here like this and then alt a and to the bottom and we're going to grab another loop here let's just go to local mode and align these two alt a top and when i combine them here with j okay so i'm going to create like a loop in the middle here okay and let's go back here and then uh, with this loop here 
we can grab this face all right and move it a little bit backwards so g y move it here so we're going to create this kind of a tapering effect here inside all right that's pretty cool and uh where is this boolean let's move this boolean on top of bevel all right and let's actually apply it um so that's cool and i think that's okay and let's grab this edge here and move it a little bit towards um towards this this side so these angles here are going to be more or less uh you know more or less the same right you can hold control to kind of snap it there we go that looks pretty cool now this one is a little bit close so what we might do is just move it a little bit here like that to create a bit of a space here and also what we could do is uh run a chamfer here so let's just apply the solidification right and we're gonna run chamfer here so alt click and control b and run the chamfer here like that and then we're good to go and the same thing on the bottom let's apply this solidification go to face mode and run the chamfer right here in the bottom can go to inset mode and extrude it a little bit to create kind of like a base for this grenade um there we go that looks pretty awesome okay cool so we got this and we got a handle we got a handle and now we need to create an uh, opening here so let's grab a cylinder and let's reduce the number of versus 32 6 is a bit of an overkill uh, move this one here and then r y 90 to rotate it on y axis and we're gonna scale this uh, but we're gonna scale it by pressing s and then shift x so it scales on y and z but it doesn't scale on x axis because we want this cylinder to be kind of wider so we can actually cut a hole here so let's get it in here and put it somewhere here we need to shade it smooth right and then shift click and control minus and again we need to you know move it all the way up here you can actually collapse the modifiers so it's going to be a little bit easier to manipulate with them right and then we're going to borrow this so shift uh, not this one um we're going to borrow the cutter so click on the cutter right and shift d and move it in here and scale it a little bit right click here and control minus and again we're gonna have to move this boolean above the bevel to fix the shading and i think we're gonna be good so click both of them m and move to um cutters right not this one this one and this one and move to cutters there we go so we got these two holes that's cool and let's apply it and then we're gonna grab the um we're gonna grab this uh inside here and shift d that right like this and p and selection so it's gonna be its own object so let's select it now go to edit mode to vertex select everything with a and press shift one this is machine tools um again function and again if you don't know why is it not working or how to enable it go and watch my videos okay you have to enable it under preferences and then i'm gonna press x um ex to extrude it and ey to extrude it in here go to right view and gg move it in here somewhere then e gonna hold control to maintain the angle and there we go and then you know somewhere here like this right and then ex and boom and that's good now we can mirror this actually to the other side but you know what i think the mirror is actually enabled here that's good cool so click this one and click this one the shift shift control b to a bevel avert and these two and we're good to go and now we're gonna convert this into a curve right so we're gonna go here to object and we're gonna go to convert to curve right and then with this one we're gonna go here and we're gonna adjust the offset and uh, not the offset sorry uh, the depth um, with holding shift right to create um, this kind of a piping and then uh, I think we're good to go so control a and um, visual geometry to mesh right click and sheet all to smooth and we're gonna have to remove all these sharp edges again right so edge and clear sharp and we got ourselves this kind of a clip here which is cool so that's that and 
and now here on the top we could you know add some other element here so let's go to face mode select select this face here and shift d p selection and then we're going to select this right and we're going to solidify this so go to let's just collapse these um, go to edit no generate solidify there we go and move it above bevel and hold shift and solidify this like this there you go that's cool and we're gonna make this a little bit uh, a little bit longer yeah so hang on we're going to cut this and move it to the back so uh, solidify a little bit more there we go and we're gonna apply this then we're going to go here grab this edge and we're gonna chamfer this from this side and maybe bevel these two just for fun so now here what we're gonna do we're gonna cut this okay so let's grab a cube and um let's move it up here like this okay and shift click and control minus to cut it and select this one and m and cutters and that's cool and we're gonna have to move this above the uh, bevel and let's select this uh, these okay here and we're gonna press alt a and left and we're going to move this we're gonna move this here all the way actually even deeper here like that that's pretty cool and we're gonna apply this boolean let's clean these with uh, machine tools by selecting them with control pressing one and we're gonna add a loop here like this which unfortunately we're gonna have to cut through so press k for knife press c to cut through click here press a for straight line right click and press space this should cut through to create a loop and then we're going to grab this one and simply extrude it down like this okay and then we can have some fun so select these and bevel them okay cool so we got something like this and in the middle here we're gonna create another cut so let's grab a cube scale it or in fact we can create two cuts um maybe longer ones like this move it somewhere here gz boom and shift click and control minus and we're gonna mirror this cutter across the shape so click here shift click and um, we have a mirror here so we could mirror this cutter hang on add the mirror to the cutter right and mirror across this boom right that didn't work okay so mirror across the cylinder there we go select this one and m cutters sweet so this is cool and we need some kind of a bolt here right that's gonna be easy apply the boolean grab this one shift d uh, p selection right and we're gonna grab that and shift s and origin to geometry I'm gonna scale it a little bit okay scale it on x move it here on x outside a little bit at a face and apply scale with control a then we can chamfer this and create kind of like a bolt or whatever right and we're gonna reduce the bevel because bevel is overshooting you see the bevel is overshooting so just reduce the bevel size a little bit and you're gonna be good now there's still something happening here something weird there we go bevel is just too small and we got this kind of a pin situation and let's just mirror this to the other side so add a mirror here our mirror is already in, uh, included so let's just mirror across this shape and we're good to go cool so i think you know we're kind of done uh, we could also create a cut in here to to make the shape a bit lighter so let's the cube and create like a longer cut here that's gonna be going through maybe this first bevel so we're gonna be going through this bevel and to the bottom here like this 
uh, move it outside, apply scale, and we're going to add a, a bevels around. So hold uh, control and alt, and it's going to select both loops. Control B, add a bevel, and then right click and shade smooth, and then control minus, right? Now you got to be careful here not to uh, not to end the cut on the bevel like this you see so we're gonna have to move it a little bit higher so GC and move it a little bit higher so it doesn't end on the bevel there we go and uh, the same here so let's just select everything and GC and move it down here okay so it doesn't end on the bevel here so two bevels are not actually intersecting um, they usually create problems. I am cutters and we're good to go. There's a bit of a beef here, but uh, you can mitigate it by moving cutters around, okay? It's basically what happens here is two bevels are intersecting. So what you could do is add some loops here to add more geometry and kind of mitigate that. The same on the cutter. So let's just recover cutter, shift 2, and grab this. And we could just add some loops here as well, like this. To add more geometry, see the sheen is going to improve. So there you go. Cool. And then we need to move this cutter above the bevel, which we did. Um, so I think it's going to be all right. Cool. Uh, I think we're good. This bevel could be a little bit larger, right? So um, the reason why the bevel doesn't show here is because we have clamping turned on, yeah, which basically prevents. Um, this disaster from happening and this is happening because we have some shading issues caused by geometry overlapping or you know where it's been too closed and uh, bevels overlapping etc what you could do is actually move this cutter a little bit to see if you can find slightly better position for it right see what i mean just move it a bit and you're probably gonna find a cleaner position you don't have to clean the mesh that much yeah this is good good enough okay shift two and we you know good to go that looks very cool actually i like it and uh, i think we are kind of done here we could add another element to this one so let's just add another cube maybe something like this make it a little bit longer Move it closer here and make it wider. Apply scale, apply bevel, All right? Apply chamfer, and then right click and shoot smooth by angle. And we can leave this in here, or we could join it together. So Control Plus is going to be Union Boolean. Move it above bevel and grab this cutter and move it to cutters. And you know you could just keep working on the shape a little bit, but I think we're good to go. This is pretty cool, I think. Um, I think we're all right here. Now, the thumbnail in the video is, I know it's textured. I used our add-on material works to texture this. I'm not gonna be using it in here, um, but um, you know, go ahead and look up my other videos on how I texture using this add-on. It's really good. Let me just add the mirror here. Um, boom, there you go. Wait a minute, why do we have two of them? Hang on, hang on, what the hell is going on? Why do we have two shapes? That's so weird. Uh, let's the mirror. By, ah, there we go, bisect, and there we go, that was weird. And I think that's better, actually it's a little bit too wide, so GX, make it a bit more tight. There we go, that's cool. So, you know, it's not overlapping. You could even add um, a chamfer here. Yeah, so it would actually look pretty cool with a chamfer here. So let's just turn off this path through and we could add a chamfer here like that. And what you want to do here is turn off this loop slide. Although in this case, it didn't work very well. Let me see this. Let me create better connections. So when you have connections like this, it's gonna usually create problems. So let's press K and connect it much more cleanly here. And also here in the bottom like this. So we can actually remove these two. 
and then alt click this loop here and shift alt click and then this should work much better there we go much cleaner the bevel is a little bit crazy so we can make it a little bit smaller with shift okay and since it's mirrored it's gonna work really nice cool and there you go cool guys well you know this is it i think we're done very simple grenade in vanilla blender um, this would be much much faster with hard ups and box cutter but you know there you go it is what it is and if you want to learn how to texture this again watch my other videos when i'm using our blender bros add-on material works to texture um, very quickly with literally a few clicks it takes like you know a few minutes to to do it so anyway thanks for watching guys and again for those of you who are new to blender and want to learn a little bit more about blender vanilla and how to use blender in general and uh you know how to um this is actually too 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 large let me just move this a little bit uh gee gc okay i need to move this one this uh, boolean hang on let me just uh, grab this boolean so shift two move this boolean forward and then i can actually adjust this there we go G Y, because it's clipping here there we go that's better yeah because this was overlapping here i'm um, kind of sticking out it doesn't look really good this is much better so anyway, if you guys want to learn more about uh, vanilla blender how to use you know all the tools and ui and you know learn all these tricks and how to model we have a free course called jumpstart hard surface in blender which will teach you all the basics give you really solid foundations for vanilla blender then you can move on to add-on workflow okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one